technology that they're pushing because they stole that technology from us. I can go back all the way to one of their so-called greatest philosophy, Plato. They said Plato and Socrates was the greatest they produced. And Plato wrote in his book, Phaedrus, P-H-E-D-R-U-S, the Phaedra, or Phaedrus. And he referred to us as the Ethiopians. And Plato, their great man said this now, way back in the B.C., in the ages of B.C., Mr. Plato says, the Ethiopians have given the world all of its scientists. Listen to this now. This is their philosopher who we love and pray to, but we don't read. Theophila Banga reads Greek. He writes Greek. He knows what they think. That's why he can build a Pan-African university in Congo Brazzaville. But here's Plato. He says the Ethiopians or the Africans gave the world all of its sciences. And then he starts out and says arithmetic, geometry, medicine, astronomy, juice, and he goes on. Then he said, but the greatest science of all that the Africans have given to the world is the science of writing itself. So with the greatest man saying this, why are they not teaching this? If you had gone into Spain and France and England in the 1300s and 1400s, all of their medical books, all of their surgical books was written in Arabic. Not that the Arabs produce anything, but this time the Arabs have invaded Egypt, invaded North Africa, taken our libraries, translated into Arabic, and then loaned that knowledge to Europe through Spain. Know your history, you'll erase the enemy's mystery. It wasn't until the 20th century that they stopped using surgical books and medical books in a language other than Arabic in their highest places. And the Arabic language was simply used as a translation of the African language. If you go back to ancient Egypt, if you go to Russia, they have a papyrus, an African book. Mm. It's called the Moscow Papyrus. It's one of the most profound mathematical books in the world. If you go to England, in the British Museum, go to the Nubian and Egyptian section, and in the corner, they have the oldest mathematic book in the world, an African book called the Ryan Mathematic Papyri. They don't even display it with dignity. It's just quietly in a little corner. But you can buy the book in written form at their desk downstairs in the British Museum. So if I've got medical books, though you can look at the, the what is called the Ibris Papyrus, which is an African medical book, or the Joseph C. Smith Papyrus, an African medical book that existed before there was in England, France, Germany, Spain, Austria, Russia, they had not existed yet. Greece has not existed yet. Roman have not existed yet. So they've stolen our books, they've learned from our books, and now they've innovated on our medical knowledge, and now they're telling us how smart they are, and we buy it because we don't know our ancestors' history. 